I would like to teach you about network, and I want to do this by working through an example problem. Here, Stickman is dragging a 20 kilogram crate three meters across a rough surface. We're given the fact that this rope makes a 20 degree angle above the horizontal, and we're also told the force of tension is 100 newtons. You are asked to calculate the net work done on the crate. As I taught you in the previous video, anytime you're analyzing a situation with work, you need to look at all the forces acting on an object or a system. You then need to determine whether or not those various forces are doing work. Remember, work can be both positive and negative. So let's go ahead and start with the free body diagram for this object, the crate. As you can see, I have a free body diagram and I've drawn it with the tension force unresolved so you do not see the components. Now let's look at Stickman and his rope. There is a rightward component to this tension. There is an upward component to this tension. And we're told our angle to be 20 degrees and we're given the hypotenuse or resultant vector to be 100 newtons. Using trigonometry, you can then resolve this 100 newton force into both the X and Y components. The next step would be to go ahead and sum the forces in both the X and Y direction. Now, in the Y direction, let's call up positive and down negative for our coordinate system. Immediately, you should notice there are three forces acting vertically. We have two upward forces and one downward force. We set those equal to mass times acceleration vertical. And of course, the object's not accelerating vertically. But let's sum forces horizontal. Calling right positive and left negative for our coordinate system, we'll subtract this opposing force of kinetic friction from the rightward force of the tension force, which is only the horizontal component of 94 newtons. Now, anytime we're dealing with friction, I've asked you to write down the phys physics is fun formula. Even if you don't use it, the fact that it is there oftentimes will help students overcome a conceptual hurdle. So physics is fun. And we don't know the force of kinetic friction for this object. So we need to figure it out. So we need to first understand more about force normal. Now check this out. Force normal is normally mass times gravity. Well, on a horizontal surface, mass times gravity would be 20 kilograms times 10 meters per second per second, which gives us 200 newtons. But that's not the case here. We have another force acting in the vertical direction. So when we sum the forces and solve for force normal, we find out that force normal is less than 200 newtons. In fact, it's 166 newtons, which hopefully makes sense after my extensive sort of review of force normal and friction. If you push down, force normal increases. If force normal increases, force of friction increases as they are directly proportional. This is just the opposite. So lifting upward decreases force normal, which decreases the frictional force because we have diminished interactions occurring between the object and the surface that object is on. Now, back to the physics is fun part. We were given the coefficient of kinetic friction in the problem. So now we can pop that in along with our force normal of 166 newtons and we can solve to find 33 newtons. Now that is the force of kinetic friction. So now we can finish our summation by subtracting 33 newtons from 94 newtons where 94 newtons was that rightward component of the tension force and we get our overall net force to be 61 newtons to the right. Now, we can take this net force and use it to figure out the net work.
Let me show you how. If you take the net force, you can easily use that net force to calculate work because you've done a lot of the work already. In other words, what I mean by that is we've already summed forces, we've already resolved forces. So work net is nothing more than the force net multiplied by the distance of the dis displacement of that object multiplied cosine theta. Now here's where students get trig happy. They want to just immediately throw in 20 degrees into here. Guys, we already did that. We already resolved forces into components. We already determined the rightward parallel force to be the tension force in the x direction. We already did that. Now, if anything, if conceptually you want to say, oh, okay, then cosine zero, because the angle between the force vector and the displacement vector is zero. Well, cosine of zero is equal to one. So we're dealing nothing more with than multiplying the parallel force times the distance. That's it. We've already resolved the forces. So all we're doing is taking the net force, which was a positive 61 newtons, multiplying it by the distance, the object was displaced, and our net work is a positive 183 joules. Now, let me show you another way to do this here. So earlier I said the net work is the sum of all the work, and I reminded you work can be positive, work can be negative. So if we take all of our work from the different forces acting in a given direction and we add them up, we can get the same exact answer. So let's try this. We found the tension force in the right direction, our positive direction to be 94 newtons. We found the force of kinetic friction, which was acting to the left to be 33 newtons in magnitude. So now all we need to do is take each respective force and multiply it by the distance. So we have 94 newtons multiplied by three meters. And I'm subtracting the negative work. I could also add a negative work value. Same thing, just like when we sum forces. So I'm subtracting 33 newtons times three meters from my work done in the right direction. Guess what I get? I get the exact same answer of positive 183 joules for the net work done onto the crate. So, in summary, let's go through and revisit if work is being done by these various forces in our free body diagram. Force normal is doing zero work. Why? Object's displacement is to the right. Force normal acts vertically. That's 90 degrees. Cosine of 90 degrees equals zero. Likewise, work done by the force of gravity is zero joules because it is at a 90 degree angle to the displacement vector. The work done by the upward force of the force of tension, again, zero joules. The work done by the rightward or horizontal component of our tension force, that did 282 joules of work. The leftward force done by the road onto the crate, force of kinetic friction was negative 99 joules because it was in the opposite direction. Cosine of 180 degrees is negative one. It's, remember, it's the angle that determines the signage for work. In this video, I showed you how to calculate net work. I taught you two different ways. One was by finding the net force on an object or system of objects, and then multiplying that net force by the displacement. The other way was by summing all of the work. Remember, work can be positive or negative. So by summing all of the work together, you can solve for the net work done on an object or a system. And I'll see you guys in class.